And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Dolphins head out, led by the NFL's leading passer in 2023. Now in his fifth season, Tua Tungavailoa. And he's coming off a great season where he put up career highs in yards and touchdowns, while also leading one of the most prolific scoring offenses in the NFL. The number one thing he did last season, though, staying healthy. When he's on the field, Miami can roll. Throwing to start here is Tua. Short throw to Smith. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Ball on the 27. Here's second and six. In motion left, Hill. Here's Tua. Open man downfield is Waddle. He's got it. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Oftentimes, when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. Two are going to throw. That's caught inside the 20. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. And that goes as a gain of 37 on third down. And this offense has come out swinging here in the early going. They pick up a nice chunk on that pitch and catch. And the two of them have this offense moving in the right direction to start this game. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's a toss play right to Mostert. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Quinn and Williams so hard to block, and he shows it that time, making the tackle for loss. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they can let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Second down. Here's Mostert again. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four-down territory, he's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. And the QB rating right now sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> but I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that's the right? high That's mark. the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully 
getting down in bounds. That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And that makes it 7-0 Dolphins. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So here come the Jets to take over. Led at quarterback by a man back to full health in season number 20 now and his second one in New York, and that's Aaron Rodgers. And <laughs> I can't help but chuckle as we look at last year's stats for Aaron Rodgers. Zero for one, no touchdowns, no interceptions. I can't believe that we're looking at a stat line like that, but remember, he only played four plays. The Jets know that will not be a stat line for this year, and they can't wait to see the old numbers replace the ones you're seeing there. First carry for the Iowa State man, Brees Hall, and he'll push his way forward to about the 32. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. On play action, now Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. Four yards the pickup, first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. It'll be a gain of five at its second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Straight ahead is Hall. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And it didn't take long for Hall to remind everyone just how special a player he is. He totaled nearly 1,600 yards from scrimmage a season ago. And he appears to be picking up right where he left off as he moves the chains for this offense. Now it's Rodgers. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 14 yards is the pickup there and a jet first down. And Mike Williams is a big receiver, used to making big plays in the Jets. They pounce on the opportunity to add him this offseason, despite the fact he's coming off of an injury-shortened season. But make no mistake about it, when healthy, he's a type of big-bodied weapon who can take this star-studded offense to a whole other level. Now Rodgers. Yeah, a quick throw here, that's complete. Call it a gain of three on the play. And yeah, that will bring up second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go that sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. And he'll go down at the 28. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Throwing is Rodgers. And a completion to Wilson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down.
Second down and a yard. Now Rodgers. Quick hitter here, it's complete. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's Rodgers to throw. Touchdown! Garrett Wilson, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Jets are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Zerline good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. A 10-play drive that time. And Garrett Wilson capped things off with a touchdown grab. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. To a tongue of Ilo and the Dolphins offense heading back out. He was 4-4 on that opening drive, including the touchdown pass. As he'll try again here to duplicate that success, starting with a first down. The tight end in motion right. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Jermaine Johnson credited with that sack. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. I don't think anyone thought we'd see a run facing second and that long. And that element of surprise, I think, helped make that play so successful. Nice effort on that carry, and it took what seemed like second and impossible. Now has him within throwing range of a first down. From the gun, it's Tua. Pass taken in by his big tight end, and he is going to have the Dolphins first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hill. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. On play action, here's Tua. Looking left side, and he's got a man. Brad Smith. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. 
when this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Two and a throw again. Open man is Waddle complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Hill going to go in motion right. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Second down, here's Mostert again. And a tough run gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. When a drive goes this long, you have to give a lot of credit to the guys up front, those big fellas, because the offensive line is putting something together that allows them to continue to control the ball. I know a lot of people think they get fatigued on a long drive. Actually, a lot of times the reverse happens. They actually get energized because they're controlling the ball, and they're the ones dictating to the defense. And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Mostert. Fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two? Maybe even three more plays. From the two now, second and goal. One more time with Mostert. And this time he is in. Yes. Raheem Mostert. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. Well, he's been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with the touchdown run. Sanders now to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Raheem Moster. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Here's Rodgers. He'll find Williams on the slam. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Rodgers. 
Rodgers going to throw. That's caught. This is a Banacanda. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. To throw is Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. To throw, it's Rodgers. That is caught. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 42. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Working from the gun, Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Well, every now and then I can speak from experience because I do know, as a defender, it is awfully hard to stay with your man on these crossing routes because even if you don't get picked, there's a danger of being picked either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. Rodgers again now. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And it's second down. Throwing now is Rodgers. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it, so on comes the field goal unit. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. Zerline's kick is up and through, and they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we've reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. 
Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come out and continue to throw the ball effectively. Rodgers now to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick him in the gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Rodgers throwing quickly out wide. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Rodgers operating from the gun. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 25 yards there on the catch and run. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory, down at the 33. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Looking middle, and that's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. give up the middle and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage it'll be a loss of a yard and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up this defense is just flat getting after it they have not given up much of anything in the run game case in point right there this now a third and four operating from the gun Rodgers able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. He's got Wilson, and that's a Jets touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jets have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. So this drive spans seven plays. And Garrett Wilson capped things off with a touchdown grab. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick.
And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, uh, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 25, here's second and nine. Throwing now is Chugavailoa. Caught left side, it's Beckham. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Looking to pass, Tua. He's got his target. That's complete. Evades the tackler and now some space. Tyreek Hill and all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins have retaken a third quarter lead. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. The Jets offense and Aaron Rodgers getting set for their next drive. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They had gotten the lead with the opening drive touchdown in the third quarter. Now they relinquish that lead back. Could be in for an interesting second half. It certainly appears that way, doesn't it? Almost turning into one of those pendulum games, right? Where it swings back and forth. And who's going to make the play that changes that? That maybe it puts it on one side and keeps it there. Now second and five. Now Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It'll go down as a gain of six. 
And it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From midfield, here's Rodgers. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. How about this? They'll try the option, left side. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Throwing is Rodgers. And that one too wide and incomplete. Wave well, going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Out to the right here to Wilson. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to make it fourth down. Before they can get the punt away, whistles as we've come to the end of the third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's Jet football, but they trail here as we start the fourth quarter. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. to getting it quickly out to Waddle. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Two are going to throw. Well, I going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The Dolphins on third down. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. This is third and 11. Tua sets up to pass it. And that's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's not locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Got the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. And he'll take it just outside the 40. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And the Jets will take over. Yeah. 
The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Now it's Rodgers. And he completes it to Wilson. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Under four to play now. Clock running. Third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. Sealer does a nice job of breaking through the offensive line and getting home, and he continues to be an underrated pass rusher from his interior spot, quietly racking up 10 sacks a season ago. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Miami set to take over. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal... End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll make it second down. A handoff running left is Moster. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. He's going to have the first down and then some. Now he breaks free in the middle of the field. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jalen Waddell, 78 yards. And the Dolphins use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. Sanders on for the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was finished off by a Jalen Waddle touchdown.
Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So Aaron Rodgers in his offense. Down by 11. A minute 47 on the clock. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now Rodgers. That's well, pretty difficult to summon up offense in a two-minute drill. When your guys have struggled to put points on the board all afternoon, there's an incompletion right there. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Rodgers going to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. A big play looming on third down. Here's Rodgers. That's caught by Wilson. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. A two timeouts still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and 10. And again, it's Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And shutting him off, now open field. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. They'll come up first and ten here. To throw, it's Rodgers. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. Here's first down. To throw is Rodgers. Look at the big man rumble. And he gets it all the way down to the three. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Here we go. First and goal. Here's Rodgers to throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. A lot of practice time, a lot of thinking goes into two-minute drills, even on the defensive side. So now you want to make sure the guys understand. Continue to be aggressive, but make sure you're smart in doing so. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. On play action, it's Rodgers. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. Things just got a little bit more interesting here in the final minute. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, you get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Big play coming now for the Jets as they'll set up to go for two. Back to throw, Rodgers. And this is caught. So they took a chance, but they are back within a single point here in the fourth. 
So a crucial two-point conversion there, but that's just part one of this two-part story that they need to happen here. Yeah, they do need to do a few other things, don't they? They got the two, as you noted. Now they've got to make sure they get the onside kick and hope to get into field goal range and maybe have one last miracle left. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's more than a two-part story. It's a three- or four-part story. So still a chance with just over 20 seconds to go, but they need to get this one back, no doubt. And the Dolphins are indeed going to get this, and that should all but do it. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Victory very likely now for the Dolphins as they take a knee here. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Down to an ego's Tua, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. <laughs> So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did. And just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon.